What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now today I am gonna hang this five foot in diameter circle swing for my kids from this gigantic tree here we have in the corner of our property. house is way over there we are on about two and a half acres now that branch above me is about 35 feet high uh, now this thing comes with a kit we got some aircraft cables so we are going to hang this today i think the kids are going to have a blast i'm going to extend uh, the ropes that attach it so that they have roughly like a 40 to 50 foot diameter they can swing in a circle if they want to or you can hook it up so it has two ropes coming down so you can swing like a normal swing now some of you guys I know have uh, followed my channel because you've been following the basement project and I apologize that it has been, I think over two months since my last uh, upload. The basement is progressing. I'm gonna flash some stuff here, some B-roll behind the scenes. Electric's done. I have all the drywall and insulation in the basement ready to put up right now. The real issue is this. I've been waiting for a big promotion at my job. Uh, the channel has been able to be monetized for about three months now, but I have not monetized it. So I did not want to have any conflicts of interest with my current job that is paying my bills until I live my life. That said, I'm waiting for approval now because I finally got my big promotion. <laughs> now that I have that behind me, I've asked permission to monetize the YouTube channel. So I have been waiting to upload more basement footage. But don't worry, guys, regardless of what my company says, it's coming in the next three to four weeks, I promise. Now, back to this. So what we have to do here is this, right? So this swing comes with two of these... Uh, Harnesses here, they're pretty much seatbelt material. They just loop through one another. They cinch onto the tree, they drop down, they hook up uh, through some carabiners to the ropes attached to the swing there. And that's how you hook it up. The problem is they're only about, I think about eight to nine feet long. And again, that tree is roughly 35 feet off the ground, that limb right there. It might not look like, look like it, but I did extend a 27 foot ladder trying to just lean onto the branch and do it quickly it was nowhere near reaching. So I'm gonna say it's at least 30 to 35 feet. So what we're gonna to do today is, we got some aircraft cable, we got some thimbles, we got some clamps. We're going to extend this bad boy and make it the coolest thing for my kids. Let's get after it. All right, so hear me out. Here's what I'm thinking. Rope is light. We're gonna use this rock, tighten the rope, chuck it over the branch. That rope will go all the way down. It's gonna be attached to the end of the harness, ultimately goes over the tree. This will ultimately be connected to our first set of aircraft cables. And then we'll cut that when it gets to the other side. Does that make sense? Probably not, but I'm gonna show you. Oh, and I'm also gonna show you guys how to make uh, one of these ends of the aircraft cable with the thimble and the clamp. So, gotta do that first. Gotta hook it onto the carabiner, and then we can throw this over that 35 foot branch. Hopefully it works in the first time, but I'm probably gonna embarrass myself in front of all of you. So, here we go. All right, so if you haven't worked with the aircraft cable before, it's useful in like everything I've found over the years, the better I've gotten working with it. I got this kit off Amazon. I'll put a link somewhere in the description below. It was 50 feet of uh, stainless steel aircraft cable, stainless steel clamps, and uh, it came with stainless steel thimbles. Then I got some uh, stainless steel carabiners since this is going to be outside most of the year. Now, just some advice when you're making these, slide the clamps on first. Just shove it on, shove it on, okay? The reason why you use thimbles to bend the rope over or the uh, stainless steel uh, cable or rope over is because if you bend it too much on a pinch, all right, if I was to pinch that, it'll eventually break. You don't want that. These symbols create a nice flat surface for the aircraft cable to bend over, okay? So when you clamp it on itself forever, it's got a nice uh, reasonable bend. It's never gonna wear it out, all right? All right, well, first and foremost, uh, the ends are very sharp. I've cut myself, I don't know how many times now. Uh, it doesn't really hurt, but careful, don't cut yourself, all right? There's a right a right and a wrong way to use your clamp. So as you guys can see here, I've got the thimble inside the loop. Again, you wanna have that so it doesn't ever bend too tight and weaken the, uh, the strength of the stainless steel cable, okay? Now you do want where it loops over the clamps, these two clamps, all right? You won't want them close because you don't want the thimble to fall out, all right? And then the outside, all right? The loop of the clamp you want on the side that's pulled back, all right? So you want it always like this, never the other way around. Typically you wanna have at least two, if not three clamps and you're using stainless steel cable uh, for overhead lifting or any type of support like this, I'm gonna use two. Uh, you know, this is more than enough to hold somebody even my weight and my wife's weight combined. So two clamps about two to three inches apart. 
and you do want to clamp them down tight, not so tight that you break something, but again, you want to make it nice and snug. I've got my uh, 5 16 socket out, quarter inch drive, so I probably can't over tighten it. Make those snug and this should not go anywhere. Keep going until both sides are nice and snug and this should never go anywhere, okay? All right, well, here goes nothing. Got about 100 feet of uh, rope and tied to this rock, so we'll see how she goes. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> got it up there, but now the rock's stuck. All right, take two, let's try this again. <clears throat> oh, perfect throw. All right, I'm stuck, but I think I can get it down this time. Wiggling its way on down. All right, there it is. Just gonna pull this entire thing through. All right guys, there's something else that came to mind as I was pulling this over the tree. Uh, you'll see that I untied the rope and I tied. So um, this is just vinyl coated, one eighth inch thick aircraft cable. I have no thimble in there. This is not structural. This will go on the just opposite side of where the D-ring goes through the loop here on the harness to double back on itself and cinch on the tree. I had this here because if I ever want to get this down during the winter time, having this stay outside and just hang down a little bit, again, I'll, I'll let it hang down. I'll cut it short so it doesn't smack people in the face when they're on the swing. But this is just uh, really just to pull on during the winter time or whenever I want to take this swing down. So I don't have to like climb up on a ladder or climb the tree to get this thing down. Having this will allow me to uncinch the cinch, essentially. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. But I pulled it, this whole thing down so the uh, limb is above me. You can see I've got kind of two sides going on here. What I have to do now is I have to run the D-ring through the loophole here, pull the thing back up and cinch it nice and tight, and we should have one side of the swing down. One eternity later. All right, guys, I'm having a bad day, and uh, sorry for all the wind right now, but this is proving almost impossible to use. There is just too much going on trying to get the D-ring back to this loop along with all of the uh, steel clamps and everything. It's just trying to pull that back through 35 feet up in the air. It's proving almost impossible now. I've kind of been sitting here scratching my head on what to do. And to be honest, I think I'm just going to go ahead and use just the aircraft cable because this will slide. I can cinch it and uh, it's going to be easy to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this end of the so the right side of the cable i'm going to put it through whoops through that loop right there then i'm going to pull that'll pull all that back up and again i am going to leave this again this is not structural i'm going to leave this on the other end so one day when i want to i can just yank that and pull the whole thing down off of the tree without any fuss now i will be honest i worried a bit about using aircraft cable on the tree i didn't want to damage the tree at all that particular limb is actually dying, so the one above it is uh, still alive. So all these branches right here are actually dead, so I probably going to wind up cutting it off anyway right there. So um, I'm not too worried about it damaging the tree. Also, where this is going to be cinched on that, and the kids are swinging, it's not going to be doing a lot of sawing. If anything, it's probably not going to move at all is my guess. So for now, today with what I have, I'm going to do that just to bang this out. All right, yeah, this worked out, so now I can just cut this length it needs to be. Create a shackle loop on the end here for a carabiner and hang the swing up. I want to bring out the other side. That'll be perfect. All right, guys, we officially have a swing, swinging, hanging, albeit only from one of the aircraft cables. I do want to hang another one so that if the kids wanted to string, swing rather, uh, like you normally do on a swing, just forwards and backwards, not all around and crazy, they can do that. This is the vinyl coated one that was, again, hooked up. The other side so that if i ever want to remove this off the tree i just yank on that and uh pull the whole thing out from under itself now you can see here i've looped that back through the swing carabiners and i've put just one clamp up here just to hold it so it's out of the way that's acting now as a safety so, so if anything ever breaks on this one i've kind of got an extra aircraft cable there to hold it in case the kids ever you know do something silly and break it so this is actually reinforced. I'm really happy with how it came out. Now I could just hang it like there by itself and let the kids just kind of go all crazy. We are going to do one more aircraft cable section over the tree, bring that out, and then we'll be done. All right, and we're off. We've got rock on rope, rope attached to the cable. We are ready to throw the rock, pull it down. Then we'll have the second side almost done. We're just going to level them out once we get it done. That's the nice thing about aircraft cable. You can always adjust the height later on. I'll show you what I mean here in a second. Thimble right in there, squeeze it, push your clamp down.
All right, covered in sweat. This project's taking way longer than I anticipated. Now, before though, before I tighten down that second set of clamps and I get the thimble in and everything, I want to make sure the swing is pretty well level. So we've got our handy dandy level. I don't think it's quite long enough. I think it's like a three and a half or four foot level. So I also have a long two by four that can just lay across that bad boy. Just make sure it's pretty level. All right, so this is what I mean. Level is a little bit too short. So I got it on top of the two by four that spans left to right. Two by four is a pretty true two by four. The right side could go up a pinch. I'm not going to go crazy here, people. It's uh, it's pretty level. It's for the kids. So I'm going to raise the right side up maybe like a half or a quarter of an inch. Then we're going to tighten it down. We're going to rock and roll. And then it's time for the kiddos to finally, after me doing this for like four hours today, be able to use this awesome swing. All right. And just like that, YouTube, we've got a swing that's about on a 30 foot <laughs> rope or cable wire there extension. So this is what I'm talking about. You've got two cables, so if they wanted to swing back and forth nice and straight, they can do that right there. But if they want to get crazy and spin around in circles, I can just unclip that carabiner right there, move it over to that one, and then we've got one cable for them to spin around all crazy and have a blast. Now, the last thing before I end off this video is the aircraft cable. Why it's so easy. At any given time, guys, if I want to adjust the height of the swing, for instance, if my kids are ever like, hey, Dad, it's too close to the ground, raise it up. All I have to do is get my socket wrench out, loosen those clamps, pull the wire on one side, just gonna raise the entire thing up, do the level, and they're ready to rock and roll again at any height you want to, so it's infinitely adjustable. That's why I like aircraft cable. Once you learn how to use it, it's awesome. It has so many capabilities, so many uses. So guys, if you enjoyed this, please give me a thumb up, please subscribe, please comment below. And until I see you guys again, get in the gym, take care of yourselves, and live your dream. I'll catch you next time.